local, private, and free large language models. Olama is amazing. And I'm gonna show you how to install it in just a few short minutes. So with Olama, you can run all these models on your local machine and save a ton of time on setup and ChatGPT costs. It's like uh, Docker for LLMs. So what makes Olama so awesome? Well, number one, lightning fast setup. You can get up and running in under five minutes, which is crazy compared to the previous methods. Number two, you can run your own private version of all the popular models. So if you're worried about sending all your data to the cloud, now you can run everything locally and privately. So public models can be heavily restricted and with Olama 2, you can download models like Llama 2 Uncensored. Save money on ChatGPT API calls. So if you're running agents like Crew, your API bills can stack up pretty quick. So save some money by going local. You can switch between different models in different terminals all at the same time. And it works on Mac, Linux, and now in PC Preview, which is running great for me the last couple of days. I'm gonna show you how to get set up on Windows, but honestly, the install for Mac is very similar. So go to olama.com and then click download, pick the operating system. In this case, it's gonna be Windows in Preview and then click download. Save the file wherever you like, and then click on it to get the setup running. When the dialog pops up, hit the install button, and it'll take a few minutes. Okay, so once that setup file has finished running, I didn't actually see anything obvious in terms of a change to my interface. But if you look down here in your taskbar, you'll see the little llama icon indicating that it's running. So. Let's go and open up our PowerShell. Now, let's check if it is actually running. So let's type in Olama. And here we can see it's running and the available commands. In order to see what models you have installed, you can just type Olama list. And here you can see the latest models that I've just installed. If you want to install a model, you just type Olama pull and then navigate to the library page where all the models are and then just take the name that you want so let's type in mixtral and you can see now it's pulling from the manifest and it begins to download okay so let's say we want to run a model we can list what models we have okay i want to run llama 2 so i just hit llama run llama 2. Now, incidentally, if you haven't installed the model and you click run, it will actually go ahead and pull that down from the manifest, install it for you, and then run it. And here's what it looks like when you hit run. How would I create a next.js app? Now you can see it's actually pretty fast. If you want to cancel, you just hit control C. Uh, you can hit slash question mark to get other commands and then when you want to exit you just hit slash b y e so i hope you found this video helpful if you're interested in building cool things with ai follow for more